Good, so I got here Friday, walked the track. It was looking pretty easy, like a hair scramble, but Josh Shaker got out there and added a lot of hard stuff, which was really good. He's so important for the series, so that was good. Um, first, the prologue was good. I think I got, I forget what I get. Forgot what I got, but uh, race one, I got fifth. Race two, I got seventh. I think sixth overall. So it was a good day. It was just the pace on the first lap was just so quick with those good guys. So like the top five. So I lost track of them a bit, but it was good. The last few laps were good. So pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, we started off the weekend kind of thinking this is going to be pretty easy. Like at the end of everything, how difficult was it, do you think? For me, it was pretty, I think I might have pushed a couple times just like from a mistake. Um, it was definitely flowy easy, if that makes sense. Like there wasn't anything too bad, but I think for what it was, it was really good. Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Okay, uh, what was the biggest challenge for you today? Um, the pace, first lap. Um, the good guys are just so quick. Through the trees, like the pace is quick, but then there's rocks and roots and logs that you throw in there too, that I just make so many mistakes on. So I just figure out that first lap and then I finished good. So I was happy with that, cramping again, but I think everyone was, so. But yeah, just keep working at it. You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It's, it was good, I had a really good weekend. We came in on Friday, walked some of the track on sat, pretty much all the track on Saturday and uh, raced on Sunday. And I, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. Kind of last minute plans came together. One of my buddies from Arizona took the bikes out. And uh, I, honestly, I had a lot of fun today. The course was really fun. Um, I ha It was challenging, but not like too bad. I mean, you could get going fast. I mean, once again, the intensity level was really high because of that all these all these guys are going so fast. But, but dang, what a cool place and very interesting terrain here. It's like flat, 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 flat. And then it just drops off in like this little pocket of hardened row area, which is super cool. So. Uh, I enjoyed myself all in all. I mean, I think I ended up with another top 10 and um, with this competition, I'll take it. And, um, you know, I'm kind of in the building stages of my program anyway. So uh, I'm happy and uh, not being too hard on myself. And uh, it was a good weekend. Right on. Uh, biggest challenge of the weekend for you? Biggest challenge was, um, once again, just that intensity factor. Uh, I got to go home and work on some speed stuff because these guys are fast. Um, I clipped my shoulder on a rock really bad too. There was like a little jump with a with a seat that had like a ceiling, like a shoulder that, like a rock that protruded out. And I jumped and I clipped it and I didn't crash. I stayed on, but I tore my shoulder up pretty bad. So I'm not, I'm not sure what I got going on there, but it'll go away, I'm sure. Right on. Uh, <laughs> coming in this weekend, I didn't talk to you, but I talked to a few other people. The overall opinion of it was like it's a uh, soft enduro. Uh, the end of the day, what did you think of the event as a whole? Look, I enjoyed it. They started on time. They scored us fairly. Um, you know, whether the course was maybe a little easier than a real hard, 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 hard enduro. Yeah, well, we got we didn't get rain. If you ran us on that same course with rain, it would have been almost impossible. So, um, you know, I thought the race was great. They did a great job putting the race on. They had a little a fun little enduro cross section here for us for the fans and there was a decent amount of fans and I think they liked it so I'm not going to complain. Uh, weekend was a bit bit rough, a little more rough than we'd like it. Um, qualifying went decent, uh, rode pretty tight the first half and then started feeling a little better the last half. Um, I think I finished eighth in qualifying so I was okay with that. I, still, I was like alright it's second row so we'll have a decent starting position it's on in just a time. Um, and then, man, the start of the first big race, I just struggled early and lost my group pretty early and just couldn't get into a flow and, and really struggled the first half. And man, just had arm pump so bad and was just full death grip and just, just trying to hold on and really just trying to breathe and, and get through it. And then that last half felt a lot better because I, I was starting to get caught by the third row and last half started pushing and, and actually closed up on uh, Max right at the end. But, just uh, was hoping we had another lap there because I started just feeling good. So I uh, came a little short there. So I finished 10th there. And then uh, final moto, started second row again. Um, didn't get best start. Uh, I was last in my row. So just kind of 
we were just playing follow the leader at first and went up a hill and, and a couple guys got stuck on the switchback and I tried to do this straight line and man did I screw it up. I just uh, didn't make it, fell back into a tree and just pretty much messed around there for about four minutes. I got passed by three different rows just sitting there um, just trying to get unstuck and got wedged in between trees. I got to figure out what those trees things are because we don't have those at Arizona. So. Um, man, just put myself in a big deficit already early. That was not even five minutes in, so I uh, had a lot of work to do and, and made another big mistake, not even maybe five minutes later and was there for probably about two minutes. Feels like 10 when you're racing, but it was probably about two minutes I was stuck there. And man, I was already down six minutes, I think, to my row at that time and, and just kind of put my head down. I, I spent a lot of energy on those two sections and, and really just tried to let, regain my breathing and, and work on all that, and, and it took a bit. So first uh, lap was pretty rough and slowly that second lap got a little better and honestly my last lap felt the best. I was got a little tired there at the end but still riding wise, legs wise, like felt the best that last moto or that last lap of the moto but needed, uh, needed another two hours of that one so um, I've been frustrated there so uh, not exactly sure how we ended up but uh, not how we would like so um, we got last dog standing in I believe two weeks so come back for that and uh, definitely uh, be a lot better there. For sure, uh, for sure. Uh, walking it, they uh, they did a good job listening to our opinions. Um, we definitely all kind of walked a lot of it and it was a little bit easier than we, we kind of thought it would be and, and we saw a lot of sections that they could make better. And uh, yeah, Josh was a huge help to that and uh, yeah, they made a lot of adjustments. Uh, the qualifier wasn't wasn't crazy hard and the first race they, they ended up changing, adding a couple more hard sections in, so that was good. Um, and then that last race, yeah, it was good. They, uh, they added in a lot of hard sections and uh, yeah, so coming in, we weren't, we weren't sure what we were getting with the hardness of it, but uh, Josh and the whole uh, Hard Enduro crew, they did a good job making adjustments and uh, making it a little more technical and make for better racing. Uh, the hot lap went good. Nice, rode pretty smooth, a little tight, but overall happy with that. I think I ended up 13th in that one. And the next race, I got 12th in that one. I was happy with how I rode, though. Like, uh, felt smooth, was able to like really push and charge the whole time. Uh, and then the final one, we had a long break before the final, and I feel like I was just very cold going into it. it took a long time to just get moving, and then once I got moving, I just kind of fought my body the whole time. I just had like gnarly stomach cramps, and it was just like I was trying to make myself throw up just to try and get whatever was in me out but and just like a super bad heat headache but tried to tried to push through it and not sure I ended up but it was pretty good overall I'm very impressed and like uh, the hot lap was extremely easy just single track but the second race was very fun with some good technical stuff and nice and flowy and you could really really push and uh, the final was very hard actually. Like the, uh, there was lots of big steps and even with how crazy dry it is here, it's still, we, once we got through the moss and the moisture, it, it was very slippery and very technical and it was just like kind of one obstacle to the next. I was very, yeah, just myself honestly. Like I feel like I was riding good and I could do everything very, like up to my standards and hit every line that I wanted to, but just, I, just fought myself being able to push in between because I, I had to just rest on the, some of the straightaways and just just try to catch my breath. <laughs> when I saw you at the uh, the hard stuff they added, you looked pretty drained by, by that point on the last lap. Oh yeah. Like, to take me through that last portion, like how were you like able to fight through the rest of the race? I was just fighting, just hoping that by some chance that Cooper was just in front of me, hoping by some chance I could catch up to him at the end. That was that's what was keeping me pushing forward. But uh, yeah, that was a tough one. <laughs> um, what's next for you? Uh, back to California. And oh man, I honestly don't know which one's next. Uh, just the next, the next, the next extreme race, wherever that is. <laughs> I think it should have been Donner, but I'm not sure. It was good. The hot lap was. Um good I feel like Shelby and I were really close the whole entire time and she actually uh, got by me kind of 
like like three quarters of the way through the hot lap and we were hitting some fast stuff so i was like oh it's okay it's just the hot lap and then we got to the enduro cross stuff and i was uh she made a mistake i think on the tires so i was able to get her back there and um i just passed her there and then we were like within a couple seconds <laughs> of finishing uh so I was, I was like stoked that i was able to grab that win off the back because um i wasn't sure how this weekend was gonna go but I just try, like tried not to put too much pressure on myself. Um, and then Moto2, I, same thing. I kind of just like hung back and waited for Shelby to make a mistake and then um, was able to get by her. And I felt like I rode just really smooth and um, we started in like 32nd position. So the, the trail was like clear of people finally once I started like got going, um, which was different than the hot lap. I was like, we were constantly like trying to pass people because um, we started on row 20 and then Moto 2, we started on row seven. So that was really nice. I felt like I rode really well because I had just a clear line ahead of me and I was able to stand a lot more and um, have like just consistency through a lot of the obstacles and I felt smoothed and made minimal mistakes. Um, and uh, yeah, I actually kind of just pulled away and um, finished my race and didn't even know where Shelby was at that point and uh, got the win. So I was really stoked on that because um, she's a tough competitor. She's really good, so. Yeah, it, um, it definitely was an easier hard enduro. Um, the last moto, it was hard for me, um, but probably not hard enough for the pros. So, you know, like I would want the pros to have their way and get it as hard as possible and but still have the A, C, B riders um, be challenged, but also not like in anything dangerous, too. So, um, you know, I, I really think that they tried to cater to everybody and this is what it was um, for Moto3. I just was pretty tired at that point my forearms were starting to get pumped up and stuff so yeah I just kind of felt tired during moto 3 but this morning race I felt good when I was racing I honestly was just more nervous um, before the race than anything that was the most uncomfortable from the minute I woke up um, yesterday morning I was a little nervous and then that kind of went away and then this morning I woke up and I was <laughs> so nervous again. And then going into Moto2, same thing, so nervous. So that was probably my biggest challenge. But once I get riding, like the nerves finally go away. But beforehand, it's like, oh man, uncomfortable. Is that a, is that a normal pre-race thing for you? Um, yeah, it is. I feel like with age, it's gotten worse, not better. Because when I was younger, I didn't think about it so much. And now I just am a little more like, a little more, uh, anxious about it but like I said like once I start riding it's like a relief it goes away uh, it went all right definitely a little faster than uh, what we're used to out here at these hardened arrows um, showed up and kind of walked the course and I guess initially didn't really see anything that I thought was gonna be super difficult um, that was a first and then we walked over here and saw some cool slicker rocks and, you know, cool ledges and stuff. Uh, it's kind of towards the end of the course. Um, and yeah, so, you know, started this morning, um, started the qualifier over there, uh, and went out and didn't really perform that great in the qualifier. Just, you know, didn't go super fast. You know, I, I struggle to have that aggression and intensity that a lot of these other guys have, um, you know, so kind of, where it gets harder is where I feel like I make up the most time. Um, so, you know, unfortunately didn't do great in the qualifier and kind of the same for the second race two, second qualifier and race three. Luckily I was able to make up some time on some guys and, um, you know, in these hard sections, I was able to get through them and without, you know, really having to stop or push my bike or anything. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, yeah. Right on. Uh, what was your yeah. biggest challenge, whether it was on the bike or off the bike, like physically? Like, what was your biggest challenge you faced this weekend? Definitely aggression and intensity for sure, which honestly, that's kind of every weekend, unfortunately. We've been working on that a lot, uh, riding a lot of motocross, you know, turn tracks, trying to just get used to going faster on my dirt bike. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, out here, just because it was so fast, definitely was the hardest thing was to 
push myself and have that aggression and intensity. Um, I think I, I think it was definitely one of the easier hard enduros that I've done. Not that it was a bad race or anything like that. You know, not every race is going to be extremely difficult. You know, these I, they're working with what what they got out there. We're in Iowa. We're surrounded by cornfields. It's like, what do you expect? You know, um, but yeah, I I it was honestly a little bit easier than what I expected it to be, but it was a great race and I, you know it was a ton of fun and with that all being said the promoters did a great job out here again um overall i'm not too happy about it i started off pretty good i won the hot lap which good boost of confidence heading into the next couple of races but in the second race had a little bit of a get off off the start actually after that i caught back up to the lead group and then just didn't i mean didn't make any big mistakes or anything but just kind of lost sight of them with the dust and just everything and, bike was working good everything was working good i think just a couple of things i need to work on we'll be back up there for sure uh, yeah so when we started out like walking the track friday saturday i was like man this is gonna be really easy which wasn't too happy about and then we had, i guess they added some pretty gnarly stuff josh went through and it actually ended up being a really good race really good track and i mean i ended up getting stuck in some of the hard spots but we'll be a hard endure if they didn't have that so hopefully they add more sections in all the races um, your personal biggest challenge of the weekend? Um, honestly, didn't really have any, too many problems. I felt like I was riding pretty good. I think maybe just a little off the pace of the top guys at times. Then they mentally just wasn't fully there. Like, I mean, felt good, but after a couple little tip overs and crashes, it was kind of hard to recover from. But overall, I think I rode pretty good. I mean, when you know you push hard, it's easy to get like upset when you have bad results but i think we'll be good yeah yeah weekend was pretty good uh hot lap was a little bit of a gong show being back you know 100 riders and oh, yeah. lou and i had a good ride through that one and then uh in the main event i thought i didn't know lou passed me i was out there riding my race and then it came in and she beat, like kicked my butt and i was kind of shocked because like i didn't even know where she passed me at but she must have been riding really good today and i'm pumped for her when you have a good ride in hard enduro, it's always a fun day. So, I mean, I, I can't even say I rode bad. I just, I just got beat. She rode so good today. So, but the track was a lot of fun. I got to give it to them here. Uh, with the weather being as it was, I mean, there's not much you can do when it doesn't rain and it's not wet. So they sent us up everything they could find and it was a lot of fun. There was some good ledges and good, good rock sections and some hills. So, I mean, the track itself, I thought was really fun. I had a, a good day. Their enduro cross section was pretty sweet. So yeah. Oh, no, good weekend. Um, I struggled a little bit with like, actually it sounds weird, but like the really dry dirt was a little bit of a challenge. Um, I feel like it was just washing my front end more than I kept expecting it to. But um, there was, I mean, every there was a couple of really tough stuff. They had a couple of hills that I had to kind of push up, but um, nothing, nothing over the top crazy. I know uh, the rev limiter a few weeks ago when I was walking it, I just couldn't believe I was gonna end up riding over some of that stuff, so. This weekend seemed a little more mellow than that, but it turned out being a lot more tricky than I expected it to be. Yeah, I mean, it was good. It's definitely one that definitely uh, like puts a little fire under me. I, I want to go back home and do a little more extreme riding now, and so I can get a little closer to Lou. She, she was so fast up there today. So we'll get, we'll get going and uh, hopefully do a couple more of these. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, was, I was bummed I had to choose between the GNCC and this, but um, ultimately this is kind of what I'm down here for. I'm extreme rider, so. I mean, it was awesome. Everyone, pro, promoters, everyone did a great job. Um, there's a good women's pro purse, so it's kind of hard to say no and not come out to this at the end of the day, so. Uh, is this what your plan is, is doing the rest of the East Coast? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and do the rest of the East Coast. Um, there might be some conflicts, um, just depending on what I have to do up in Canada, but uh, I'm pretty well trying to do all the East Coast extremes that I can do, so yeah. Yeah, so 333, three, three, um, basically, dude, right? felt like I rode pretty well, but uh, just had some weird stuff. Got a little penalty for going five feet out of the ribbon in the second race. So I lost a position there when I finished actually second. And then the last race, I was like riding good, but just had some weird stuff. Um, the loop out into your camera, that was not intentional. <laughs> I said sorry for that one, but also um, totally my fault uh, on the loop out. But outside of that, I just had some weird stuff like catching neutral and just doing weird things. But hey, the race turned out really good. Um, we had a good battle. It was super intense. Um, 
I was just trying to chip away on uh, first and second. So um, even with that little loop out in front of me, um, you somehow stayed really close. To, like is, I was... didn't stay close. I caught back up. Yeah, oh. I lost like at least a minute. I would assume. Yeah. You know, um, which Not I did. Bad. Which I did a couple times. At the first lap, the same thing. I lost probably a minute in a section that was not a big deal, but I caught neutral and just, and it didn't make, didn't make it up the thing. And so then I had to like lift it and do a bunch of stuff. And then, and then by the end of the lap, I was back on first and second. And then, yeah, I thought I said weird stuff. What were you things. catching up time? I don't know. I think I just was hanging out a little bit more than, than some of the other guys. I think I was uncomfortable, uh, but I was finding comfort and being uncomfort, oh, uncomfortable, so. Yeah, I like the hard enduro stuff. Like, uh, I mean, it's it's different. It's challenging. It's different. It's challenging in a different way. I like the competition, and I like that I'm learning. You know, I'm learning new stuff. I know, like, I feel like I'm expe I'm definitely expected to be, you know, like winning some of these and getting in the mix at least, um, just from my you know past results in enduro cross and then whatnot. But I feel like I'm still pretty new at all of it and actually putting effort in um you know last year i put some effort in but i broke my hand at the first round that we did at roar sorry got a heat stroke at the first round of roar lost my mind completely and then the next round i broke my hand and that was it so i didn't really have much of a a, a series last year for me to compete and i didn't really do much hard enduro and then this year just been slowly figuring it out and chipping away at it and so eventually we'll get there and try to get into the try to get up the leaderboard a little bit more right on um yesterday the the overall opinion was this was soft enduro yeah um now the race is under your belt what do you think yeah i mean ultimately we all had a good time like the racing um there were still mistakes and it was still um challenging um and it had its sections but even if it's easier like and not super gnarly extreme, we're gonna push the envelope to find the limit. This doesn't really make a difference. But there, it was hard enough, especially trying to go, you know, at a click higher or pushing that intensity. I, I didn't wear a heart rate monitor, but if I, if I did, I'm sure it would have been way up there on uh, just pushing it. So I had a good time and I think everybody else had a good time. So yeah, it's good. Uh, final question. Um, your biggest challenge, whether it was on the bike, whether it was looping out into cameramen, like what was your biggest challenge today? Yeah, I mean, ultimately for me, I think I just, um, just trying to be consistent. I had I had some funny mistakes and the loop out <coughs> was a bit uh, over the top, uh, to say the least. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you just gotta minimize the mistakes. And um, I just had some weird big ones that were a little less characteristic, I felt like, but it is what it is, so. Cool. Clean those up and move on and get get, get closer to the top uh, step. Yeah, Iowa. I raced the, their first race here last year, and uh, it was a bit of a trip. I don't know, uh, first race they did. It was awkward, it was fun, but but odd. So round two, hold on, gnarly back cramp. Okay, so second race they, they had here, uh, jo Josh helped them kind of dial in on the uh, what the track needed to be definitely escalated the difficulty level over last year uh, last year it was wet this year's dry uh, made some pretty techy lines very rideable uh, so it was fun uh, hot lap i uh, didn't have too many gripes i uh, went back and forth with a teammate pat Samaji. that was fun uh, we got split on rows he finished fifth i finished sixth so that put me on the second row for Moto 2, and uh, I was feeling pretty good. Um, I tried to keep this weekend fun, light. I think I'm starting to pull out of the funk I was in early in the season. You know, the first two races, I wasn't super positive. It was labored. We were in weird, you know, Arizona was weird for me, Texas. I just, that doesn't strike me right. I don't know, I don't strike it right, whatever. But uh, East Coast, felt, felt good here. I had fun. Um, of course, it could have done better, but there's a lot of competition uh, lined up this year. Um, we got guys from multiple disciplines, all gnarly guys, fast. This race not being the most difficult round of the year, also being dry conditions, made it for a relatively like fast, 
this was kind of race. You could carry speed, keep keep it moving, and uh, I think everybody was railing. So, in the main event, I uh, I was battling with Max and kind of bouncing off his rear tire and trying to get overly aggressive on some gnarly obstacles. I guess not that they were that gnarly, but I was getting a little uh, over aggressive trying to make something happen and max my heart rate out. I was running like 190, just trying to make something happen, just feed off the pegs, just getting squirrely. And uh, that put me in like a lactic acid hole for about a lap and a half. But once I shook that, um, on that gnarly line with the big splatter up it, I uh, I fell in a hole and it just turned into a wrestling match. I wrestled past Max and uh, took control of whatever place I was in, I think 7th or 8th for that moto. Um, so didn't kill the result, but had fun doing it. And uh, Max and I went back and forth a little bit. He dialed it on and started catching me on the last lap, which made it yet again a race. So, I mean, that's fun. That's fun. You know, no, no disrespect to, you know, the Iowa Extreme or the promoters here, but I was a little surprised that we had sanctioned this as a national level event because I knew it didn't stack up technically difficult as the difficulty level didn't stack up to some of the other hardened rows we have. Um, they they added more technical features and, and elements to the track this year, but the weather conditions just made it to where it didn't even compare to last year. Where last year it rained during the event, and this the soil when it gets wet, it just so damn slippery and it, these the hills they do have and the tight cuts up things were littered with roots and the switchbacks and things I mean I can remember dog paddling wrestling just on slight inclines we're here we were riding wheelies up stuff and pivoting around things that were just trying to keep the front end down so had it rained here this would have been an mf -er. like it would have been sucky but with good conditions it kind of made it just an enjoyable fast-paced challenging race um you know uh that's, that's my opinion, you know. It, I think it, it'd be hard to make this race a lot harder based on the terrain, but I think they do a great job with what they got. And um, it's an enjoyable technical race. Yeah, weekend was uh, all right, not ideal. You know, obviously I come to these races to try and win. And um, I did walk a ton of the track with Pat Smodgy, uh Saturday, and both of us were kind of like, impressed with the area because we're going through soy and cornfields and there's not much out here at all and then we come to this really cool little valley and a bunch of really neat features and I mean I wasn't here last year and the conditions were a lot different but walking the course I was pretty unimpressed I felt like they kind of just ran it looks like it just ran they ran last year's course in reverse so there wasn't a lot of new stuff and definitely I was kind of bummed walking it. I was like, eh, I mentally, I wasn't like excited about it, you know? So we did hot laps um, Sunday morning, pretty early. And uh, I finished fourth in that, which I was fine. I wanted to be on the front row. Um, but then kind of looking back at it, it almost could have been a little bit better to be on the second row because then the super fast guys are on the front row and it's corrected time. So I can start a minute behind and you only have a minute to gain and the top. Because I felt like in that second race of the day, which was our basically first moto essentially, was uh, the top five, top five guys and three of us were like battling it out, wasting time with each other. And it kind of played into Tristan's favor because he had a big hang up in his qualifier. So he was kind of just by himself and was able to reel us in and get all of us. And there was, uh, I don't know, I wasn't, I just knew I was in a really bad deficit finishing fourth in that first moto because it's a moto format. Uh, overall scoring, so, you know, Tristan's riding really well and, you know, Taylor was riding really well in that race and, and Colton's been stepping it up here lately, so I just put myself in a really bad position. Um, I basically was in second. Tried to get by Taylor, made a little mistake, and then Colton Bike got by me, and there really wasn't anything to separate us, and it was just, we were just all over each other, but I couldn't get through the dust. The course was a little bit tight, and I couldn't get by them. Like, it was my own bad. I just did what I could and finished fourth. So, final race, I definitely want to redeem myself, and, you know, luckily we got uh, Josh, our race director, listening to the riders, and he added some sections with... Uh, 
the night before the race, it was like Pat, Quinn, and a couple other of us were like, dude, we have to have something out here to challenge us. And it's pros only in that last race. So, I, you know, I felt like the hot lap was really good for amateurs. Uh, it was technical, but nothing that was a showstopper. So, uh, you know, they can struggle through it. And in the final race, if it was marked as it was without changes, it would have been a soft enduro and not a hard enduro. It was, I was not impressed. And so, like, we got Josh on board with us and he listened to us and we made a couple changes. And I think that's the only reason why I won that final moto. I had, uh, I was battling with those guys and I just was pissed after getting fourth and didn't want to do that again. And somehow got in the lead, just was in the right place at the right times when they made little mistakes early on in that first lap and uh, Tristan was all over me. I couldn't drop him and I was riding, I wouldn't say I was riding tight, I was just riding prote protective and couldn't put ground on him because I was just doing silly things, protecting insides. And, um, second lap, there was a new line section we added in and it was really technical and I cleaned it pretty much every single lap and Tristan got hung up there and I don't, Colton was right there for a while. I think he must have made a big mistake as well at some point. But uh, last lap, I had like a weird bike issue, just basically out in the cornfield. Coming from one section to the other, I had a really big roller to flat, and my throttle got stuck wide open. And it was a really weird deal. And I basically just, this big gap I put on Tristan, it had a comfortable lead, and I knew I could nail everything to the finish. Uh, wait for this wind to die down for a second. This is gnarly. Let me know when you think it's good. We're good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, my bike got stuck wide open, and I was like pulled over off the side, dinking, like messing around with my uh, throttle cable, and it seemed like it was snapping back. So I don't know exactly what happened, but it. After that, I think. We were running my bike a little bit lean here, and uh, my bike ran funky. Like, I think I almost burnt the rings up a little bit when my bike was stuck wide open. I couldn't get it to shut off, and uh, I don't know. It, it never really felt right once I kind of fixed whatever. I don't even know how I fixed it, but it got running again, and Tristan went by. He stopped to make sure I was good, and I'm like, just, just go. I got, I got my own issues here. and. Colton almost got me too, and I got ahead of him, and I was kind of just bumming to be honest, because I felt like I was really putting that charge on, and uh, I was like, whatever, like I have an excuse if I don't do well, because I had a bike, weird bike issue, and uh, I don't know, so I, mentally I got past that. I'm like, I, what am I doing? Like my bike's still running, I got to keep pushing hard, and Tristan got hung up a little bit in that really technical bit we added, and I cleaned it again the last lap, and. I've never ridden one. I was like, kind of got my motivation back again. We came in this thing, I saw him right there, and I was like, let's go, baby. Like, I yelled something at him. Probably didn't even hear me. I think I said I'm back, or I don't know what I said. And uh, I think we pulled on Colton because we really put that the hammer down and doing everything I could to get by him. Came down a creek. I just held it wide open through a puddle trying to scare him and get him agitated and I think it actually worked because right after that we had to do it was the very last technical uphill we had to do before it was all grass track to the finish in enduro cross and I knew I was done if I didn't get him there and we took different lines and crisscross and I just got the edge on him going up that hill so I think I flustered him through the puddle like splashing wide open and uh, he took a line he had really didn't take all day so uh, and I was really happy to win that final moto, especially with having a little bit of bike issues and somehow rebounding back. But I was angry after that first race and just wanted to prove that like it was not where I should have been. And you know, we got second at the end of the day, so not a bad uh, result. Because you know, if I didn't have, if I had any little more issue, I would have been completely way back in, uh, like, I think fifth place. Right, because Taylor, no, fourth place at the end of the day. I would have been pushed off the podium. And no, I'm not, I can't, I can't think right now. Yeah, I would have been in fourth place because we all would have tied uh, if I had finished second, me, 
Colton and Taylor. Um, and I would have won, basically got second at the end of the day because I had the best final moto. So if Colton beat me, I would have been totally screwed and went from second to fourth. So really happy that uh, I fixed whatever issue was with my bike, kept my head cool, and kept charging. Um, well, it, I've, uh, it went okay. Um, it was, as I suspected from walking, it was fast, uh, dusty, not quite, not quite uh, my cup of tea, but just kind of pushed, pushed as hard as I could and did the best I could and uh, ended up 10th uh, overall. So, you know, in some pretty fast company. So I, I guess I'll take it, but yeah, just disappointed. Uh, I know, like I said, I know I could be up there higher. There was literally like one hard spot on the track and I aced it every time. And if it wasn't for that, I probably would have gotten like 20th, but <laughs> That was the only, I, I kept passing people right there each time. And yeah, it was sick. I, that, that part of the track was cool. And the whole track was fun, you know, but just not, not tough enough in my opinion. And uh, I think that was kind of the, the talk of the weekend, you know, so uh, it's unfortunate, but looking forward to getting back to the East Coast where it's slick. Um, I know it's a weird question to ask after that, but uh what was your biggest challenge for the weekend, whether it was on the bike, physically, or on the track? Uh, my biggest challenge was trying to keep my intensity up, my race pace. I was struggling with that because typically in a hard enduro, it's not, I mean, you have race pace, but like sometimes there's, there's tough obstacles out there and it's like, you're not quite in that high intensity as, as I, you know, I should have been this weekend. It was more like go, go, go the whole time and I kind of got a stomach ache on lap two of the final and I was just, I couldn't push. I was just cruising and I'd wait till we get to a tricky spot, make my move. And um, yeah, like I said, I, that was, that's the only, only thing that got me, uh, got me a 10th this weekend was those couple tricky spots. Awesome dude, thank you so much.